Forsyth and the Scottish Mental Health Arts and Film Festival is fast becoming a fixture in the arts calendar. Events get underway on Saturday and run until the 24th of October. A really rich mix of everything, performance, author events, workshops, exhibitions and film screenings aiming to raise awareness, challenge stigmas and change perceptions about mental health. So let's find out about the film programme uh, on offer. With me is multitasking Eddie Harrison. He's been on the Movie Cafe a few times, as regular listeners will know, reviewing films, but he's also the festival's communications and media officer. Also here are Marie Olsen from Glasgow's Diversity Films, uh, who have six shorts in the festival, and Derek Wilson, who features in one of those films, For the Love of Lugosi, which explores his love of gothic horror movies and the effect that having Asperger's syndrome has had on his life. Welcome all to the Movie Cafe. Thank Lovely to much. have some company. Thank you. Um, Eddie, um, this is, seems to be a real success story for this festival in a relatively short space of time. Yeah, I mean, it's only been going for five years. Absolutely, the festival is an original idea, and now it's something that has got imitations setting up in Europe and England, etc. I think it's just things like that, and have got a very specific and positive message to be got into their community. Yeah. You put all of these things together, and you've got a very rich mixture. Uh, Marie, diversity films have, gosh, is it six films uh, in the festival this year? Two dramas, right. two docs, two drama docs, mm -hmm. the, the, the whole thing. And um, So tell me about how this worked then. You put a call out across Scotland for films. Yeah, uh, diversity films, we've been running for uh, just over four years, and last year we started a programme called Starting Block, uh, which was a new way of um, sort of getting voices from across Scotland rather than just from where we've previously been working, which yeah. is mostly across uh, sort of Glasgow. So Starting Block was an open call for submissions and um, we d shortlisted films. What was the response like? Did you? Was it we had a very good yeah? response. We did a lot of sort of taster workshops in uh, Dumfries, Galloway, Fife and across uh, Greater Glasgow. Great response and just amazing ideas and a lot of them touching um, on yeah, very various subjects, clearly, yeah. but uh, it was difficult to, to sort of pin down the, the six mm. ones that we ended up producing. And, of course, one of them was Derek's film. Indeed. I mean, can you maybe just tell us briefly about how, you know, what, what you got from Derek and how you developed it with yeah, him? Yeah, it was, um, I think there were a couple of um, zombie movies uh, that, that that was proposed, or you were you were keen on doing, uh, Derek was yeah, keen on doing. zombie films. Was it not? No, it was a... So, Remake of the Cannibal of Souls I wanted to do, but oh, I said right. no. I do apologise, I'm not going. That's not sad an argument. It was only through by making the short film and understand what goes into it that I was sort of educated, you know, and that it is a long process and there's so much it goes into it. So tell us a bit about your film then. People will be intrigued. Intriguing title for the love of Lugosi. Yeah, well, Lugosi with Derek, which so you've written it, you present it, it's directed by Andy Gregor. So mm -hmm. let's get a little flavour of the film now. My parents weren't very supportive or basically not very nice people, very selfish and hedonistic. But I'm not condemning this town, the Glenothis, that I lived in. I mean, there's any people that were born in the same sort of family background, but Mine's felt tougher because I was so alienated from everybody and everything. I couldn't seem to form long-lasting friendships with anybody or my peers when I became a teenager. <laughs> In fact, I've always maintained that I was, I was never a teenager. I withdrew to childhood. And it wasn't until a few years ago that I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, high-functioning autism, which I must admit, now it makes perfect sense. There you go, a little flavour uh, of Derek's film for the love of Lugosi. And do you know what's really interesting? I was at a, a, a screening the other night of Tyrannosaur, Derek, the new film by the actor turned director Paddy Considine. And Peter Mullen, who's the star of the film, was there. And he said, I can talk about this because um, Paddy's, Paddy's talked about this, that he was recently di diagnosed with Asperger's. Right. And, and Peter was very interesting on, on Paddy's method of, of directing and all of that and then how the Asperger's uh, is all part of that. But he'd said exactly the same as you, Paddy, had said. It just made sense of everything for him. You know, mm -hmm. getting the diagnosis was actually a relief. 